is Judy with Steve's Farmhouse, and this is my husband, Shane, and we're farmers, okay, and a welder. We're not so much uh, equipped to really understand lasers. Now, I will tell you that my husband, Shane, what do you work on at work, that laser? Uh, I have a CNC plasma cutter. So he has a CNC plasma cutter, so he is familiar with that. And this, when we got this in the mail, it was a little bit of a challenge for us. And the biggest challenge that we had was downloading the software because we didn't have a Windows, we had a MacBook. And it was a little bit of problems trying to sync the light burn to the MacBook and trying to get it all connected. And we did reach out to a friend of ours that is a laser expert. And we checked with him about how to actually do that. And he's linked in our computer and he set it up within no time. And then we were able to get started. And his name is The Clack Shack. And he is all into lasers. So if you have questions about how to set it up, he has got a lot of videos on how to do that and check him out. I'll put his channel down in the description. But once he got us set up, it was so easy. Like setting this up, easy, not a problem. The biggest problem was setting up the software, Lightburn, to the back book. Since then, we went and got a Windows and it's been much easier. We were able to download Lightburn to our Windows fairly easy. Um, what do you think is the biggest challenge about using the laser? Uh, if you're not, Oops. if you're not familiar with it, it's just how to navigate around everything, setting up speed, setting up power, uh, what the color codes are, uh, where, just where certain things are are located at on it. And you're uh, talking about light burn. Yeah, and I'm talking about light burn, the software in general, uh, because a lot of stuff we had to go back and look on our MacBook, because we originally set it up on a MacBook and try to find some of the same settings to set it up in Windows. But some of that's because we're dummies to <laughs> computers. But uh, as far as once it is set up and operational, great works good a lot of the stuff that i get to play with at work is kind of on this as well uh they are some things that are different and located in different places but as far as the drawing downloading cropping images uh all of that fairly simple now we have nothing to compare it to uh this is the only laser we've ever used here at home now I will tell you, we have this set, set up in our kitchen and that became a problem when it started burning because smoke was going everywhere. Good thing we got a ceiling fan, <laughs> attic fan. So quickly, I learned to quickly order this cover and it's, it's fairly inexpensive. It's not really that bad and it's so worth it. Here at Sneed's Farmhouse, we're a nonprofit farm and we were looking for ways to make a little bit of income to utilize to help with our feed bill. And when Creality reached out to us to try this out, I was really excited because this is a way that we could utilize extra income for our farm. Overall, we've been very satisfied with the Creality. It's done exactly what we needed it to do. We still are trying to learn about this right here. The tumbler. We haven't quite figured out how this works. It's gonna take us a minute. So we're gonna have to reach out to the clack shack again to get him to help us learn how to set this up and get the software to respond to the Creality machine. Um, for someone that has no experience in it, it's a little bit difficult for us to figure all that out. 
smoke at Liam's in. So basically, this laser needs to be in a place other than your kitchen. Um, and it needs to be on a flat surface and plenty of ventilation. We have on the attic fan right now because the exhaust is not hooked up yet to this cover because it's in our kitchen. So we do plan to move this into my husband's shop when he gets it built and not in my shop. Just not kidding. Right. I will say it's been a lot of fun learning this. What do you say? Yeah, it's been very interesting and I mean it's I mean it's it's been it's been pretty cool and interesting. And we would highly recommend the Creality Falcon too. It is for for a starter great. Perfect. Great. Uh if and you're then, like us with no experience at all with the computer, laser. We're computer illiterate. Uh, I work with computers very little at work, so I'm limited to what I can do. But as far as beginning, great, recommend it. Do it with Windows, not a Mac. Uh, seems like it. it's easier to navigate, get around. Uh, it's just knowing all the settings. And it just takes time. It does, and you just we beat ourselves up every night for weeks, playing with it, figuring it out. Uh, I've got some little coasters that I that I've done. I got some other things, like keychains and stuff. We've just been basically practicing. He yeah. did a beautiful peacock, yeah. um, and we actually sold that, and we have other orders for that. So, if you're looking for something to do to add income. Uh, to your home life, it, it is a good product to use. We we thoroughly enjoyed it, and it's utilized for our needs that um, to generate revenue for our farm. We bought this cover to go over the laser so it wouldn't hurt our eyes. It has this right here. Y'all know I'm blind in one eye. The last thing we need is to damage my eyes. What he's doing is framing it to make sure it's gonna hit in the right spot. He's gotten pretty good at this. These are some of the keychains that he's made in the past 24 hours. This is what he does at night when he's done working outside. He, he works in the, we're in our kitchen. We really need to, look at this. Look at all this stuff he's made. He's made this fish. This didn't turn out too hot. But look at this pretty butterfly. Y'all have seen this. I've showed this before. The peacock. That. Oh, that's just his test pieces. Mm -hmm. Bought this. I thought something would be really pretty oh. on that. So we're going to work on that. Got to decide what I want on it. All right, here we go. All we can do is run it, right? All right. <laughs> You don't know until you practice. I bought all this to practice. Oh Doesn't have to be perfect. I'll close it. See how we can close it and it doesn't hurt our eyes. Drum roll, please. Dun. Dun. <laughs> will this turn out or will it not? 
That is a million dollar question. We're really liking this cover. You see, it has this, we gotta get an exhaust. But it doesn't need to be in our kitchen. I feel like we need to build a room. <laughs> so we put it out in the carport. Uh, we, we put it in your building. You're gonna fumigate my animals. Jack leg. Where are we gonna put it? In your building. We'll talk about that later off camera so that we can fist fight. I won't say the words that I want to say to you right now. This is his baby. One of them. I'm surprised the oh other one's. I'm surprised the other one's not jealous. It's looking good. Thirty-seven. And I think it would look better darker. What, can we, if we stain this, will that writing get darker, you think? No. Yeah, it could. I mean, I can, I can take the sand it all off. No. And, and start over.